Today I'm going to be making some trees for my modular terrain board. I want to do this quickly and easily, so I'm going to be using the stand-up trees that my brother and I designed for terratiles. I'm going to do a couple of little improvements to them, but the goal is to get good-looking but gameable trees on the table in short order. Let's jump in. I want to be able to get some trees on my game board that stand up and look 3D, but of course I want to do it in the easiest way that I can that still looks pretty reasonable. And I'm going to use these tree and wall accessory packs and just use the trees here. These are the trees and walls that my brother and I designed for the original Terra Tiles project years ago because, well, this was the problem, exactly the problem that we were trying to solve. We wanted to be able to include 3D elements on Terra Tiles layouts like trees, but we didn't really like having to make trees ourselves. And so developing some stand up trees like this we thought would be really easy. So that's what we've done, and they've been popular. There are still a few of these left on ravenkeep.net. I found some and I sent them out to the warehouse. But here we go, see, they just slide together and they've got a little tab here, so they stick together as well. There you go, they just slide together, click together, and then boom. I think that's a perfectly reasonable, gameable stand-up tree for this project. Now, the only thing that I don't like about them is that they've got the white edges here. So, I'm not go just going to stick them up. Uh, what I'm going to do is stack a bunch of them up and then come up with some way to paint them so that I've got the black edges on the trees. And then I think they will look perfectly good on our game board. One pack is 15 trees. That's probably plenty, but I'll go ahead and do two packs while I'm making. All right, now that is a nice stack of trees. I've got three different kinds of trees, so there's variety on the battlefield. So I'm going to take these, come up with some way to stick them together tightly, and then just come by and spray the edges. I think that's going to be the easiest way. That way you don't have to worry about getting down into the cracks with a paintbrush or something like that. That would take a little while anyway. So I think just coming by and trying to spray the edges of these make, it, uh, make them that much better and also be really easy. It's spray paint time. This was just a quick and dirty operation outside to get the edges of those trees painted black. Nothing fancy. That worked extremely well with just painting those edges black. And I didn't even worry about the ones that are on the, the front and the back. I kind of used it as a shield. Hey, if it sacrifices like that, like one tree right there that was uh, on the edge, hey, no big deal. I got tons of them. So now I get to stick these things together. And I should have a forest here in no time. All right, that is a whole forest worth of trees right there done in only a few minutes. So those are going to look really cool going out to the table. So the next thing I do want to do though, I think I want to glue them together because we designed them so you could then slide them back apart and then store them flat. So that's definitely one thing that you could do if you don't have the storage space, you just slide them apart when the game is over and then store them flat and they store really easily. I do have some shelves that I can put these on, so I think the thing to do is to get out some glue and just glue them so that uh, they are nice and sturdy at the table. I'm going to use tacky glue so that I don't drip glue everywhere here in the office, but this stuff dries clear, so all I'm going to do is take a bead of glue and run it down one of the sides. All right, so now I just let those dry and we'll have our forest. All right, so I wanna do just one more thing with these trees before I get them out to the table because I mean, they're basically ready to go. I just think it'd be better if they were on a base individually and that way they're a little bit more stable and it'll be a little bit easier to move around and everything like that and I think that'll be better. So I've got these bases that were cut by Litco. This is a two inch base and a 1.25 inch base. And so I think that's what I need for the two different size trees I've got here. So I'm just gonna pull out enough bases for all these trees here. And since these are going on my green Terra Tiles battlefield, I found that it's this uh, hunter green in the uh, workshop. So I'm just going to spray enough bases, hunter green, and then glue them on and then probably flock them. So uh, I'll count these up and take them outside and spray them green. <laughs> 
Once I had sprayed the bases green, I just used super glue and a little bit of accelerant to stick all of the trees to the bases. This was the quickest and easiest way to get that done. Once all the trees were stuck to the bases with super glue, I did spread a little bit of PVA glue over the bases and then dunk the tree bases in a box of flock. This does mean that my terrain board as a whole now is not completely flock free, but I don't think that flocking these tree bases is that big of a deal. It's not like I'm trying to do a whole terrain table here. And here they are. The trees are finished. I think this project only took like an hour or an hour and a half. It wasn't all that long at all. Now I want to know how they look on the terrain table. All right, that's it. Trees on the table. It's always a balancing act when you're making trees for a battlefield like this. Too few trees and it doesn't look right. Too many trees and they all get in your way when you're trying to play the game. And you know me, I like playable. So I think this is a reasonable balance between being suggestive of trees and woods while still being a very gameable table. What do you think? And if you want some of these stand-up trees for your table, they're available on ravenkeep.net. I found a few more packages and sent them over to the warehouse so they are ready for immediate shipment out to the U.S. In the meantime, please do stop by my YouTube channel. There's a lot more on tabletop fantasy and gaming on the channel, all organized by playlist. I'll see you in another video, but until then, happy gaming.